Good morning everyone, and so currently it's pretty much 6 in the morning. It's still pretty dark outside, but I'm about to go on a nice long walk to a spot to try and hopefully today get some pictures of a kingfisher. As if you'll remember, a few videos ago I said that that's my mission, that before New Year I want to try and get a picture and nice footage of a kingfisher for you. And so today, fingers crossed, we'll make that happen. But even though I'm still really sleepy and would rather be in bed right now, let's get going and hopefully find a kingfisher today. So we're almost there now, you can see just behind me there's a beach there and the lake that I'm going to is just behind the beach but just look at this behind me It's just, oh, it's so nice, like it's losing like the goldenness of it now but yeah like only just five minutes ago when I got here it was fully golden, it was so beautiful and then down here we just got the crashing waves, but ah, uh, being out on the cliffs at sunrise is just, it's just stunning. <laughs> But anyways, enough of the sunrise, it is stunning, but I'm here for kingfishers. So let's head over to the lake and hopefully find some. So I've literally just got here, like set up my camera and everything, sat down filming some tufted ducks and some either shags or cormorants, I'm not 100% sure, over on like a platform out on the water. And then out of the corner of my eye, I see this little streak of electric blue. And literally within three, four minutes of being here, I have spotted the kingfisher. And currently he's moved into like a thicket where I got a few shots but he moved further in like soon after so I can't see him right now but knowing where he is and knowing that it definitely is here I think this is going to be quite a successful day I've just got to try and get a bit closer to actually get some nice close-up shots of him for you But before we go any further, I've just set up a brand new website for my photography where a range of my best photos are up for sale as prints, and some of the best photos from today's video will also be going up for sale on there too, so if you're interested, check out the link in the description to go check it out. And there's also a 2023 calendar up for sale now, so it could make a perfect gift for someone or just a nice gift for yourself, so why not check it out? But anyways, let's get back to the video. One thing that's quite interesting that I've never seen before is the gulls, the black-headed gulls on the lake here, they keep fighting and like, I mean properly like going at it. 
I've never seen that behavior before. And I think my theory is, is to do with the avian flu in the area and the fact that you're not meant to like be feeding the birds and stuff and getting them together in big groups. And I think because people have stopped feeding the birds here, like resources become more scarce and because it's winter now as well, like there's less food around anyway. And so they're fighting over the remaining resources. So that's quite like interesting, like the link between how they become so reliant on us and everything. But I mean, they've just chilled out because somebody did actually come down and throw some food out because they had a little kid with them. But yeah, it's, it's quite an interesting behavior to see them because I've never seen them do that before. Now this lake is actually quite special because there's basically like a tunnel system that goes and connects the freshwater lake to the sea and I believe that was built in the 1820s to basically drain the lake so that they could build on the area because it used to be a lot larger but yeah they wanted to build here and so they wanted to drain it and the idea was that the fresh water would just flood out into the sea but at high tide seawater actually comes into the lake and it's turned what was once just a fully freshwater lake into a brackish lake now which is a mix between the salt and the freshwater and I believe that that is actually quite rare here in the UK because there's only a very few sites where there are brackish lakes around our coast and like obviously that means that there's a range of different species that can be found here as you get like we've got down here some coots and stuff so freshwater species more but then you can also see down here fish that you find out at sea so it's a weird mix between the two but what makes this lake especially like special and a site of special scientific interest is the trembling sea mat which this is the only site in the UK where it can be found and the trembling sea mat belongs to a family called bryozoans which they look like plants but they're actually little animals and the trembling sea mat it's only about two millimeters like big so it's a tiny little thing and so trying to spot any out here is going to be hard and it's not my main aim today as you know i'm here for the kingfishers but it's just awesome to know that in this lake here there's an animal that can be found nowhere else in britain so it's been a little while now since I saw the Kingfisher. I've done a couple laps of the lake and no sign of him still. But I haven't seen him leave this little like thicket area, so I think he's still in there, unless he's like gone round the back and flown off. So I'm going to wait it out a bit longer and see if he comes back out. Because I... Yeah, I got him on camera, that was the aim. But I really want just a nice shot, a nice photo. Because I've never managed to get like really good footage or a photo or anything of a kingfisher. They've always been really far off. So that's my mission, to get a really nice shot of one. And down here on the lake, there's just so much. Like, there's so many different species. There's herring gulls, black-headed gulls, shags, kingfisher, coots, moorhens, tufted ducks, little grebes, uh, I've seen fish, it's like this place is, is pretty mental to be honest and I think I'm going to be spending a bit more time here because there's a lot of potential subjects to like get good photos of and stuff which with my uni course I'm on will really help actually <laughs> but yeah this place is awesome and it's just it's such like a small little lake like it's not that big and just behind me you've got the sea as well so there's potential subjects back there so yeah this this area is pretty cool for photography
I was just watching the gulls here as they were like fighting and everything and I look over and where I'd seen the kingfisher earlier there's this little patch of like orange and I thought oh it's just like a dying leaf or something from like the distance I am anyway and but I got the camera anyway zoomed in and he was sat right just on a branch out the front he was just sat there just minding his own business I managed to get a few quick photos before he flew off and so I'll show them to you at the end with all the other photos I've taken today but ah oh, the patience of just sitting here and waiting it's finally paying off I think I've just seen him move move around like within the bushes again so fingers crossed he's gonna come back out to the front and I can get better footage for you guys but even though the pictures I got they aren't the best and he's still quite far away they're the best I've ever got of kingfishers and so I'm extremely ple pleased at that and I've also just got loads of other awesome photos today of like the tufted ducks that are here the coots the gulls are doing like interesting behaviors and everything so that's cool to see so yeah coming down has, it's been a success so far so I'm gonna give it probably an hour longer I've already been here for a few hours but yeah an hour longer see if he comes out if not then oh well We've got more luck here than we have anywhere else. But yeah, hopefully within that hour he comes back out and I can get some cool photos and footage for you guys. So yeah. Rather annoyingly, I did just witness the Kingfisher fly off to an area which I can't actually get to. So, I think that's going to end it for today, because he's gone off now somewhere. He did pop out once or twice, which I can't complain about, and I can't really moan about today, because I got Kingfisher photos and footage, which was the aim, and I also got loads of cool footage and photos of the different species that are found on this lake. And as I mentioned earlier on in the video, so the best selection of photos on here, well, it does if I find any really good ones that stand out. They will be going up to for sale as prints on my website. And also there's the calendar on there still, so if you're interested, go and check that out because it is selling out quite quickly. And I will be getting a new batch ordered and everything, but for now I think there's only four or five left of this batch. So if you want them coming soon, then you better get on it quick. But yeah. It's been an awesome morning out here. I spent about three or four hours down here on this lake and I've seen so much and so many cool just like interactions between the species and behaviors that I've never seen before. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next adventure. Okay, so I'm back home now and I've just got done editing some of the photos from today and I'm quite pleased with how most of them turned out, so I'm going to play them for you now and I hope you enjoy them. <laughs>